You know what I learned from this episode with Dinola Gray? It's first, I remember why he is one of my favorite people in the world. And just how much I miss all those conversations about life that, you know, we said we used to have. Um, and it, I, mean, I was reminded of what makes him special. Dinola has always fully owned himself physically and mentally. But now, just talking to him, and I noticed this last year when I did an Instagram live chat with him, you can see that he has got into the fullness of self emotionally and spiritually. And when all the lights go off and you're by yourself in your room mm. with your thoughts, mm. do you really like the person that you are? Mm. And the beauty of owning what I'm saying is not that he has arrived at a location, but that he has entered the journey. You heard yourself say, you know, one of the reasons why I began to be very comfortable talking about not being married and not yet wanting to get married is because the reason is that I started a journey in 2016 that I didn't arrive at. And I keep trying to say this to people who watch me. It's not that I've arrived at that journey, but I've started a journey. That's what made me start Joy Inc. and start all of this. I only just started recently um, owning my narrative and owning my journey and my own truth and be mm. like, whether I like it or not, mm. whether I believe it or not, I was shy, anxious and depressed, and I got to that. It's... And each time I unveil myself, I'm like, today, you need to sort your traumas before inviting other people into your journey. And it doesn't mean that I'm not saying that the journey will end, but that you need to get to a level, what he calls a milestone in that journey, before it's fair to invite other people in. And Dinola clearly is on that journey, clearly is on that journey. And it's a beauty to see anybody who's on that journey. And I thank him for reminding me of that powerful lesson and of the necessity of doing that work.